Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaylee and this is Get Lit with Kaylee. It's lit! Get it? Okay, I'm done. I am on my phone, so I'm so sorry if it's a little shaky, but I'm at the used bookstore in, or the used book superstore in Burlington, Mass. Um, since moving here from Texas, I have not found a half price books adjacent store. And if you don't know what half price books is, it's a used bookstore. They do have some new stuff as well. But what's really cool about half price is like, you can actually go in there and sell your books like to them. They give you store credit and then, or cash if you want it. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, you can use the money there or you can just sell your books and make some cash, some quick cash. But um, here, when I, what I read online is so they do buy books from, from you, but they'll either give you, like say you sell $50 worth of books, they'll either give you a $50 store credit or if you want the cash, they give you $25. So either way, like whatever, but um, I'm gonna use all the money that I get from what they give me in the bookstore as store credit, obviously. Uh, but I am unhauling today about 25 books. But I have read all the books that um, I am unhauling today. They're just ones that I just didn't really care about and I wanted them off the shelf. Um, and I would much rather like sell them and someone else enjoy them. So, oops. so that's kind of why I am unhauling them. Um, and I'm hoping to find today a few different books um let's see i want to do like all fall books i haven't read a t king fisher book but i really want to get into some of her books um so yeah fallish books horror um if i see some darcy coats um also if there's like a fall romance um i really i really want morbidly curious or Haunted Ever After. Um, those are on my October TBR. And then the only non-fall book, I guess you, you might consider it since it's a fantasy fall. I don't freaking know, but whatever. Um, if I see a Throne of Glass book, I will get that because I do want to start that series. And what better time to start it than the winter time. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and go in. I'm going to sell the books first and then I'll try to film some of the shelves and things like that. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. So I felt like I blacked out in there. I was in there for, I'm not even kidding, like two and a half hours. I left fully expecting it to be dark outside. It was a great experience for the, like the barcode is, <clears throat> there's the price. And then every single book has a different color. I noticed that like more of the popular books are brown and purple, <clears throat> but there were some like gold and um, orange and yellow and green uh, books that I saw as well that I liked. 
but at the whenever you walk in they say like okay all the orange books today are an additional 20 percent off or whatever so now i know um when i check their instagram if they say hey we're gonna do all the purple or all the gold books on this day for however much off i'll know to go in there because those are the more popular books so anyway it was a really really cool experience um they had a ton of diff they had so much inventory i was really really impressed um, so I did tell you guys, so initially I went in there, I don't remember how many books, but it was about 75, I think it was about 20, about 23 books, 25 books, something like that. But they gave me $75. So I did some damage in there. I got 11 books. Um, I don't have the receipt with me. It's downstairs and I am too lazy to go get it. <laughs> Being totally honest. Um, but I wanted to go through all the books that I got and then um, I do remember like what they were so like price wise so I'll go ahead and tell you guys um, but I spent $120 so if you do the math I put in like $45 of my own money and I definitely wanted to contribute something because I didn't want to go there and then just use I wanted to um, you know I wanted to support the bookstore so although I didn't price match um, and put $75 of my own money, I did put about $40 in. So anyways, it did work out. Um, I got a lot of cool things. So I'll show you, I'll tell you how much the books were and if there was, it was um, on a special or something. But I think I did get a bunch of the books that I had wanted to. Um, there were a couple that I had had my eye on that I didn't expect to get today, but I was like, you know what, this is a great price. And I've have been thinking about this and it does fit the fall vibe because that was kind of my intention today was to go in and get books that I can read um for the for the fall so I've got like my physical tbr kind of set up between books that I want to finish this month and like spooky season books and then books that I want to get into like in November December um so anyway yeah, I have 13 books on my physical TBR, so I've basically doubled that with this trip today. <laughs> we have a lot of reading to get to this weekend. Um, Nick is away for, that's my boyfriend, he'll be gone. He's on a bachelor party. So while he's gone, I kind of plan on maybe reading at least like two books over the weekend and knocking down some of my physical TBR. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into the haul and I'll tell you what I got. So the first book that I got is Pack Up the Moon by Kristen Higgins. This was not on the fall TBR, guys. This was not something I had gone in there for, but this, so the color on this one is purple. And this one was, I don't know if you can see it, but it was $5.96, this was $5. And I was like, you can't, you can't find that anywhere, okay? So anywho, I'm really excited about this. This is a great deal, um, but it was in really, really good condition. And this one is seems really sad i want to go into it kind of blind but what i know about it is i believe it's um between like a woman who's terminally ill and her husband and he's kind of like coming to terms with i think she might have cancer or something i'm not really sure as the disease progresses the husband is trying to kind of grapple with everything still be supportive of her but like he's already grieving and after I read the back of this book there at the store, because I knew that like it was really popular on the book talk, but um, whenever I saw, <clears throat> excuse me, when I read it in the store, immediately I was like, oh my gosh, that reminds me a lot of Shark Heart. Because if you don't know, Shark Heart is one of my like favorite books ever. I think if there was like a thing where it was like five books to get to know me, that would be one of them. I obs I'm obsessed with it. It's like weird enough. It talks a lot about grief and like, I don't know why but like grief books just like resonate with me anyways but this one sounds very much like that those same kinds of topics i think she wrote him letters and oh my god i'm already crying so anyway this is gonna be a great sad girl book um you know there's just sometimes where you just like want to read a sad ass book and this is it but i am so 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 excited to get to this one Okay, so the next book that I got, I a lot of haunted house books this um, coming up spooky season. And I, it's almost to the point where I'm like, should I just do like a re reading nothing but haunted house books for a week video? But I don't want to get burnt out. But anyway, I have The Haunting of Blackwood House. And this is by Darcy Coates. I cannot believe I have not read a Darcy Coates book. Insane. Um, I did order House of Shadows from Pango. 
So that one should be coming in the mail pretty soon. But the Haunting of Blackwood House, apparently it's about a girl and her parents are both like spiritual, like, um, you know, they, they conduct like seances and they read fortunes and things like that. But apparently Darcy Coates writes haunted house haunting stories, like kind of those tropey, campy horror books. But the way she writes them apparently is it's not just another basic haunted house story. So she does do some different things in it. Um, I'm really, really intrigued to read her writing and, and kind of see what people are saying about it. Um, House of Shadows, I believe is more on the YA side. And then this one is more like adult. So I, I wanted to read one of, or want to read one of each just to see how, I, how I'm vibing with her writing. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, and this one was 13, $13.59. Um, so if you go there, if you go there and they have a white thing like this, then that means it's a brand new book because they do have new books in there. And if you keep this on there and you take it back, so if, say I'm not vibing, I don't want to keep it, I can go back there within 60 days of, of buying it and they'll actually give me in store credit half of what I paid. So that's a pretty good deal, you know? That's, I, I think that's a pretty good deal. All right, so the next book that I have is In Five Years by Rebecca Searle. This one is giving end of December, so just FYI. <laughs> um, but this is the third Rebecca Searle book and that I, would, I will be reading. And I really liked... Um, expiration dates and one Italian summer. So I'm hoping to get to this one. This one's probably gonna be more, like I said, like it just, it's giving New Year's and snow. So like in one Italian summer, um, it's her mom from like, it's like she time traveled. And then um, in, what is it? Expiration dates, she meets a man and then all of a sudden like, she'll find like a piece of paper with her name on it and an amount of time that she'll inevitably know them or the relationship will last. So there's like always that little magical element to her stories. So um, this one, I'm not really sure what it is. Um, I don't know what the magical element honestly in this one is and I kind of like it better that way. So this one actually was $8.98 and this one had an orange sticker. And all the orange stickers were an additional 20 or 30% off. I can't remember now. So I got this for, I think, like six bucks. So I think that's a really, really good deal. Um, and it's in very good condition. So like now, this book is, you're going to be like, you haven't read that yet? <laughs> um, but I haven't read this one yet. And that's Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. I know, what the heck? So I read Akatar a couple years ago. I think I finished the last book. Silver Flames last year. It was okay. I'm okay. I know people are gonna come from my neck. I didn't love it as much as everyone else makes it their entire personality. I, I, I liked it. I like the second book the best. Um, but I don't know. I just, it was okay. It was okay for me. It was fine. I do want to, um, I, I've, a lot of my friends though have said that they actually enjoyed the Throne of Glass series more than Akatar. And so I want to get into this one uh, soon um, because I want to start reading Crescent City because I believe the new one's coming out next year. So I do want to get into this one. This one is the first in the series. I know there's a couple different ways people have recommended to read it. Um, I was going to read The Assassin's Blade first and then read this one. But my one of my girlfriends who said this one was better than Akatar, told me, no, do not do that. Read Throne of Glass and then read the second book. What is it? Oh, Crown of Midnight. And then after that, read the first three novellas in the Assassin's Blade and then read the next three or something. There's like a whole system to read it. So I was like, all right, I'm going to do it that way and see if I like it. Um, but yeah, this one was used, but it was 1098. So I was like, all right, perfect. It's in basically perfect condition. Um, but yeah, so I got that one. So that one is, so okay, that marks four books so far. Now this next one, I cannot believe I found for this price. This isn't in the best condition though, so I can see why it is, was this price. But this one is co the cosmology of 
of Monsters. And this is by Sean Hamill. So there's just like some sticker goo right there. But I think I can get some goo gone and get that taken off. It was $8.98. I don't know if you can see that. Can you all see? Okay. And this one had a yellow sticker. So that one, like the other one that I had was orange in five years. Um, this one was either 20 or 30% off. And so yeah, this one was also about like, I don't know, six bucks also, but depending on how much it off it was. But I was like, this is a great price for this. It's a hard cover. Um, to be honest, I was not going to get this book only because I wanted it to be in hardcover. <laughs> I know, I'm so annoying. But like, I really just didn't want the hardcover version of it. But um, Rachel Harrison, who's one of my favorite authors ever, she said that this author wrote this other book called Dissonance. But it's really, really long. And so I was like, that is, mm, let, me, let me read the more popular one first. If I like it, if I like the writing style, then I'll get Dissonance. But she has accredited that book to being something that's like, has, um, I, I don't know if it's like, she just really likes the book or if she has like, it has inspired her to write her book. So anyways, but this one's pretty popular and it seems Halloween-y. So I figured it might be a good thing to keep on the shelf um, for next month. But basically it's about, um, a family who like either own taxidermy or um let's see here oh okay so it says yeah. noah turner sees monsters his father saw them and built a shrine to them in the wandering dark an immersive horror experience that the whole family operates oh my god this is like already so awesome um his practical mother has caught glimpses of terrors but refuses to believe wow opposites attract there too focused on keeping the family from falling apart. His brilliant older sister, Eunice, can't exercise them from her mind, no matter how many versions of the story she commits to paper. And his elder sister, the dramatic and vulnerable Sydney, won't end up to seeing anything but the beckoning glow of the spotlight until it swallows her up. And, okay, so this sounds like it's going to be really, really good. It's going to be something that, like, explores, like, all the characters. It's probably going to be plotless, but character-driven, which... I have found if it's done a certain way, I do like that. And this cover is absolutely stunning. So yeah, that was a really good find, I think for a pretty good price too. Alrighty. And then we have In My Dreams I Hold a Knife by Ashley Winstead. This one, I feel like people have said is dark academia, but it's really just more of a thriller that takes place at a school, but it's not, just because it's a thriller that takes place at a school does not make it dark academia, okay? Like, let's just be honest here. It's just like when people say enemies to lovers for everything. Are they really enemies? Or do they just, like, have, like, a weird meet ugly? I, you know, it's not... It's not en enemies to lovers. I think that's, like, a little gripe that I have in the book community. Like, saying something it is, but it's not. And just... Anyway. Like, clickbaity. But this one was eight ninety eight. <clears throat> also with an orange sticker. So, it was either 20 or 30% off. So good deal on this one. But this is one I've also been wanting because you can see behind me. I've got both of Ashley Winstead's newest books and I've given both of them five stars. So I think her writing has probably gotten better since this is her first thriller. But I don't care. I still want to read all of her thrillers. And then her newest book comes out in, I believe, January. And she's actually another Houston girly. So, and she writes a lot from her own experiences. So that's something that I'm like, oh my gosh, I love when authors do that. Um, which if you've read her other two books, you're like, oh. But yeah, anyways, she does talk about it on We Wear Black podcast or something like that, I, I think it is. But anyways, it's, I really, really like her writing. Um, but this one is about a girl who goes to a pre uh, prestigious university. I don't know. I guess there was a murder that happened a long time ago and they're all trying to figure it out when they all get back together. Who knows? I'm not sure. I like to go into thrillers a little bit blind, like I've said before in other videos, but I did get this one for a good price. And this was definitely an author or a book that I had been wanting anyways, so could not pass this one up. And by the way, I will say, they had a lot of, like they had multiple copies. Hey, Dallas. Oh my gosh. They're having these with me right now. Hey. I want to show you guys because you're so crazy. Hang on. 
Y'all, will y'all quit? Oh my God. They're insane. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I just fixed the angle and I like this a lot better. So, how many books are we down? One, two, three, four, five. We've only got through six. Oh my God, so we're like basically halfway done. <laughs> All right, guys, the next book that we have, so lucky number seven, <clears throat> is we have The Passengers by John Mars. This one has actually been sitting in my Amazon cart. It was $10.98, and I thought this was a great price for this book. It's in great condition, and on the, on Amazon, I was actually going to buy it. It was literally sitting in my cart, uh, but I was just like, I don't want to spend $15 on this book. I'm sorry, but it's been out for how long? Like, what the hell? I was wanting to get it used somehow. Pa I could not find anybody on Pango that had it. Anywho, so I loved The One by John Mars. I still cannot believe that I haven't read anything else by him yet. And I'm like, I feel like after I read that book, he has other Black Mirror-esque type of books. How have I not read that? How? All right, so anyways, um, this book is a little freaky because it talks about self-driving cars. Oh, by the way, I got this off Etsy, but this is my fourth winning shirt. Anyway, so it's just as self-driving cars are becoming the trusted, safer norm, um, eight people find themselves in a terrifying situation, including a faded TV star, a pregnant young woman, an abused wife fleeing her husband, an immigrant, a husband, wife, and a suicidal man. From cameras hidden in their cars, the panic is broadcast to millions of people around the world, but the public will show their true colors when they are asked. Which of these people should we save and who should we should we kill first? Are you serious? How has this been sitting in my TBR? Like, and I have not picked it up until just now. Are you kidding? So anyways, yeah, John Mars, <clears throat> his mind is crazy because the one was insane. He's had a, he has a couple of other books um, that I want to pick up after I read this one. You follow a bunch of people that are different and see how they handle the situation and then you're also seeing like the political the socioeconomic you know all of the different um all the different consequences and, and things that happen because of this thing in technology it's basically a big black mirror episode in a book i'm here for it so yeah and this one was yeah 298 good good price the next book that we have is perfect for spooky season it's also you're the vampire because this one is uh, Salem's Lot by Stephen King. And oh my God, how have I not read this one? I read The Shining last year. Um, I have I had been staying away from Stephen King, even though I really, really like horror. As when I read it a long time ago, it weirded me out about like how he writes about young girls' bodies. I was like, this is a little weird. So I just kind of stood, stood, uh, I kind of stayed away from it. It is written in a small New England town about vampires. This was in really, really good condition, but this one was $15.98. And this one, I think was the most expensive book that I got <laughs> over there today, which ironically, it's the oldest book that I have um, that or that I bought. But yeah, I just really like this cover. There was actually some cheaper editions in the store. There was one that was like $9 but I really like this one. I'm not a big fan of when it has like the movie tie-in, even though that cover is perfectly fine. I just really thought this one was creepier. So I got that one. Plus I think on this shelf, it would look really cool. All right. Now we are down to our last three books. Oh, I do have the room. I do have the receipt in here. Took care of all that. And so these are the actual the ones that I ended up buying. So the last four. Yeah, the last four I actually bought with my own money. The last three books. <laughs> so, okay, I got Mile High by Liz Tom Ford. I have so much FOMO because one of my really good friends, she's read this so far and she's like, this is my whole personality, I love it. Whenever I went to Chicago recently, um, I was like, I'm gonna find a bookstore and I'm gonna buy it there. And I know they have a bookstore that's like all romance books. I didn't get to go to that one. I'm sure they would have had this in there. But anyway, I found this one for 15 bucks. And so I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just gonna buy it <laughs> there today because I know I've been wanting it. I need a new romance series. So anyways, but yeah, so I, I wanna go ahead and start this one sometime this year. Um, 
the book that just came out i forgot what it's called but it has the purple cover on it is everyone's favorite so that's pretty exciting that it's like the last book or something and each one of them just get better and better um i think caught up which is the second one is everyone's favorite so yeah i want to go ahead and get through this one um but they're very thick so that should take me a little bit but i might i might start reading this one i have a wedding to go to next month and i think this would be a really good plain read all right so then last are both spooky season adjacent so these fit the vibe but this one is the unfortunate side effects of heartbreak and magic um originally when i went in there was a book that i had i was looking for but i'm not okay if there's like a rom-com book i have a problem paying more than like 12 13 dollars for it i know i know it's so stupid but it was like almost 16 it was like 15.99 and i was like i'm not gonna pay that for this book because those books take me like less than a day and they don't do anything for me really but they're just like a fun time so anyways i picked this one up thinking oh this isn't this one just like another like rom-com type of book it was eight bucks by the way and it does not seem like that it actually seems like it talks about a little bit of deeper things and by the way this is i'm not trying to be a hater on anybody that likes romance books okay it's just i know from my own reading style how i am and believe me though i love like i wanted morbidly curious i wanted that okay i wanted that one i wanted um haunted ever after and the other book that i really really wanted was um conspiracy theory love or something like that and it's about these two people that hunt bigfoot so anyways i really wanted those three and i found the bigfoot one but again it was like almost 16 dollars, and i was like i'm not buying that but anyways i digress but this one seemed like it was really different than what I, I had originally thought that it was going to be. For fans of Practical Magic and Gilmore Girls, hello. It's about a girl who always believed that a curse of four heartbreaks, believe the curse of four heartbreaks that accompanies her magic will be worth the price. But when her grandmother is diagnosed with cancer with only weeks to live and her first heartbreak, Jake McNeely, returns to town after a decade, her her carefully structured life begins to unravel. Girl Sadie is having a shitstorm happen. Yeah, is love more important than magic? So I'm here for it. Um, that's exactly the kind of vibe I wanted when I walked in there. And it's exactly what I got. All right, and then the last book that I have, I am so pumped for. This is like the one of the OG TikTok books that talked about dark academia. And that is The Secret History by Donna Tartt. This is another one that you know I originally had gone in there not thinking I was going to get but it was $14 this is in very good condition I read the first page of it because I was like I wonder how the writing is like I don't know if I'm gonna vibe and I read the first page and I was like oh my god yes this one is amazing so um yeah but it says an accomplished psychological thriller absolute chilling influence of a charismatic classics professor a group of clever Clever eccentric misfits at a New England college discover a way of a way of thought and life a world away from their banal banal contemporaries. But their search for a transcendent leads them down a dangerous path. Okay, so that's like super vague and like I probably butchered that whole thing reading it. So essentially it's about this group of kids who go to this New England college and one of them dies i think and then they're trying to solve this mystery that's essentially what it is and then there's like a professor that's a creep oh my god y'all i feel like i got so many great reads today when i walked in there i literally told myself okay besides throwing a glass only buy books that fit the vibe for the next like two months i got the ones that i wanted and the ones I had had my eye on and everything. And I think I got a really, really good deal on them. So yeah, I think we had a very successful day and I will be back one million percent. So thank you so much to you guys for sticking around, watching this video and hanging out with me today. Um, if you are in the New England area, please check out the used book superstore. It was amazing and yeah, definitely support them. Um, that is a really, really awesome place to buy secondhand books and even new books. 
Um, but yeah, thank you so much again. And if you like me or this content, or if you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It would really help me out. And uh, yeah, don't forget to take care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.